Today we're gonna to be throwing this net across the whole dock to see what we can catch to put in the saltwater backyard pond. Let's do it. First cast, wanted to do it right in the beginning of the video. Just throw one right in the beginning. No chum, no enticing, nothing. Just a blind cast. Did we get anything? Some algae. Should we put some algae in the pond? Now, if you guys haven't seen, we filmed part one of this entire series where we set the backyard saltwater pond up for native fish. The native saltwater pond you guys have been asking for for a long time. We finally set it up. Here's how it looks. If you guys missed it, we set this guy up. We painted the pond, which I don't even know what prompted me to do that, but I did it. Set up a nice little fence here. So it's a nice little home. It's a very home goods vibe and I absolutely love it. So we're finally gonna be adding fish. This is part two of the series. We're gonna do part three, invertebrates, part four, needlefish, part five, maybe a barracuda, you never know. We're gonna extend this thing and make this pond loaded with fish, as many as we can fit in here, and then we'll see how it looks at the end. But for right now, pond is looking good. Let's catch some fish for this thing for the first time, and I thought it would be a perfect idea. If we're gonna set up the dock native saltwater pond, we gotta catch fish right at the dock for at least the first video. So we're gonna try to catch as much things as we can. The main targets are glass minnows, a ton of them, lots of sand perch, maybe a couple grunts. We're gonna see what we can catch at the dock to load this pond with. Now, when we do the video where we catch our first snapper for the pond, I'm thinking a mangrove snapper. Those are the best fish. I love those guys. That would be perfect for the pond in terms of a predator. We may have to start fishing for the snappers here because watch this. I'm gonna throw a little piece of shrimp in and I guarantee you the fish that's gonna eat this is gonna be a mangrove snapper. I've seen a lot of big ones around. I'm just gonna throw it right in the middle. Let's see who wants that little piece. Watch that little white piece of shrimp. It's either gonna be a puffer and here goes a mangrove snapper going right up to it, but that's the problem. See how smart they are? He didn't eat it, he's checking it out, he's finding out if it's really good food to eat, and then eventually he takes it. So those guys are super smart. You have to hide the hook so carefully. If they even see a little piece of the hook, they will not eat it. So it's gonna be tough getting a right size 10 inch snapper to put in that pond. But today we're not going after the snappers. That's just a thought. So there's gonna be two phases to this video on this dock. We're gonna start with netting. It can be this, it can be the shrimp net. We're gonna try to net as many fish up as possible. And then phase two is gonna be the fishing rod with some shrimp to try to catch those bigger fish. I see a lot of blennies around the pond would definitely benefit with some blennies. So that's phase two. Got some first cast and all, all the minnows are out deep. They're out deep today, very rare, very rare, but we got some for the pond. Let's go baby. And we're gonna put them all in this bucket. First school of glass minnows. These guys are tiny. A couple weeks ago, there were some hogs, but now these guys are pretty small, but that's totally fine. That's totally fine. We're adding a first, our first school of fish to the pond. It's gonna be these guys right here. I got time that guy. But they got some pretty good colors. They're like a rainbow with some green. I will take that all day for the first fish out of the pond. We wanna start small and move our way up. So we're going with glass minnows. Fantastic, fantastic first fish. And we're gonna to try to catch uh, an absolute cloud of these. So I'm gonna hunt. They're kind of scarce today. Not gonna lie, they are, uh, they're, they're being kind of weird. I think they're all out deep. So I'm gonna have to start putting in some serious work. I had my eyes on these guys yesterday, or this morning. Right underneath here, we're gonna to have to use this net. Right underneath here, there is a school of tiny, I think they're baby sand perch like this big. That would be so money, but they are gonna be so hard to catch. We have to be super stealthy. They're gonna be almost impossible to catch. There's a bunch of these little like uh, upside down jellyfish everywhere as well we could put in the pond. Those like anemone looking things. Those are actually upside down jellyfish. They will sting the hell out of you. I've gotten stung before, it sucked. And there's a puffer fish. Not today, puffer fish, we want babies. Okay, we're gonna do a, a rogue swipe here. No chance. Whoa. No, there was so many fish. This net is slow. This net is for shrimping. This net is not for uh, netting fish. It's for shrimping. We gave it our best try. I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. We're gonna have to set a fish trap. We're gonna have to set a, a, a multiple 24 hour fish traps here. Now that we have this uh, backyard pond, I'm really itching to do that. That's a really good idea. So drop a like on this video if you guys wanna see multiple 24 hour fish traps at the dock for the pond. Whatever we catch is going in. I think that's a really good idea. Dude, the minnows are all by the boat. The minnows are all by the boat. I think they found a home by it. That's huge. I didn't get as many, but I got a stud. So I got literally two, but they're hosses. And those are gonna be our breeders because we want to repopulate the minnow population inside of that native pond. As you can see, you can tell clearly which the two bigger ones are. Got those two big ones. Those are gonna be our two breeders and we're gonna start an absolute unit of a glass minnow farm starts today. Let's see if I can get another big school of them. Dude, they're all out deep. They're all out deep over here, dude. That's the thing once about, about these bait fish. Once you throw a net once, they get smart and they start leaving the area. Oh yeah, I went deep. Went deep with it, gonna let it sink all the way to the bottom. That was a blind cast, by the way, guys. I didn't see anything. The minnows have left the chat. They're not as thick. They're not as thick. They were so thick this morning. Like there was a huge school of them, but I think as the tide goes out, they kind of leave with the tide because usually I see a lot of them on high tide and not as many on low tide. And it is currently low tide, so. Oh yeah, we got another school. We got another nice school. 
we're just picking away at these minnows. They're not very thick, but the ones that are around, I want them to experience my beautiful home that I built them with a white picket fence. These fish would have never had a white picket fence before unless I was here. It's pretty crazy to think about. Now I did see one school of sand perch, so we're gonna do that, but Brooke had a good point. Oh my God, minnows down. There was more in here. I'm saving you guys. It's gonna be okay. I don't know if these, they're gonna make it. They're so hard to pick up, it's almost impossible. Oh yeah, he's done. We have some goners, guys. So here are the fish that we were after. These are the glass minnows. These, these are the ones that actually fell out of my net earlier and I did not notice, but this is what they look like. They are pretty much just giant, bigger versions of like a freshwater minnow. So they're just minnows. That's exactly what they are. But they do actually have some reflective scales, which I always point out to you guys because they are kind of cool. They look kind of look like a rainbow when they reflect like that. So it is pretty cool. Now, the thing that Brooke said, which is also a good idea, is we're gonna catch fish during the day right now, but tonight when the sun goes down and the, and the snook lights turn on, there is so many bait fish at my lights. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna catch as many fish as possible tonight, or right now, and then we're gonna come back out tonight when the lights are, uh, when the snook lights are on, and we're gonna throw some nets and see if we can get some more fish for the pond. So that's gonna be the plan. Let's move on to phase two for the daytime, which is rod and reel. We are now on to phase number two of our white picket fence pond which is gonna be rod and reel. I'm going for the blennies. There's so many down there. Anything we can catch is going in the pond. So let's see what's lurking in these waters. Sun is going down. It's beautiful. It's actually not that, not that hot today. It's nice. It's about, I would say 74 degrees, which is perfect. So little piece of shrimp, little piece of shrimp right here. Let's see who's gonna eat it. Oh yeah, what do we got? <gasps> no, that was a baby mangrove. Couldn't keep him anyways, he was too small. That was like a perfect size little mangrove. Perfect size for looking cool, but you can't keep, can't keep the mangroves unless they're 10 inches. So we're gonna have to wait and be patient until we catch one of those is we're gonna have to go after the big boys. Using a sabiki hook, by the way. The world's smallest hook. We got our first fish of the pond. This is a real fish. This is a stud. This is a stud. This right here is, you can't, it doesn't get better than this at the Fish Guy Chris Dock. I mean, these guys are always a pleasure to catch, especially when you're first, when the first fish to add, it's like perfect. It's perfect. Not our target species. This guy's a little bit too colorful for our target species. We wanted to catch a uh, sand perch, but this guy is a blue stripe grunt. No yellow. At the ones at the inlet, we always catch our bright yellow. But as you can see, the water in my canal is a little bit more brown. So these guys change colors. They are, it's more brown and blue. So we got a blue stripe grunt right here. Perfect. I'm talking, this is a, this is a great catch for the first fish. So let's get this guy in the bucket and see what else is around. If one of these is around, many of them around, maybe we can get a school of glass minnows and a school blue stripe grunts. That would be a total win for the first additions to the pond. All right, my dude, welcome to the bucket, the bucket of, of goodness and friends. He's stoked. Once again, that blue sharp grunt has never had a home with a white picket fence. Fish guy Chris is giving him a absolute mansion. It's on the backside of that rock though. Multiple sand perch. This is our target species. Oh my God, so many sand perch. Problem is these sand perches, I, I showed you guys their mouths before. Oh, this puffer fish is just gonna ruin my time. They have the mouth, like their mouth is like, the opening of their mouth is probably the size of the hole in a angel hair pasta noodle if there's a hole in the middle. Brooke says there's no hole in angel hair pasta. Imagine if there was a hole in, in the, going through like a tunnel in an angel hair pasta. That is the, as big as their, the sand perch mouth. The pufferfish have officially ruined our entire sand perch journey as they have scared every fish in the area away. I hate big pufferfish. Hey guys, look, it's the fish that ruins everything. These fish are the worst fish in the history of, of fish when they get to this size. I'm all fine with a baby puffer fish. It's so cute, a good time. It's the big ugly ones that I'm like, what are you doing? I The size of the shrimp on this hook is, is literally as small as an ant and they still wanna eat it. Forrest, you gotta check this guy out. Look at this puffer fish. Isn't that freaking crazy, bro? He hates it too. Did you hear him? He said, oh my God, that fish is ugly. I know, same. All right, later buddy. I only like the small ones, the big ones. Guys, another one. This time, this is a little bit better. Like, this is cute. Like, you can't be mad at this guy. <laughs> He's just trying to get a meal. Look at this little guy right here. This is much cuter. But the ones that we are gonna add to the native pond are not even gonna be this size. They're gonna be a quarter of this size. So, yeah, yeah, much cuter, but you're still, you shouldn't be eating my shrimp. I'm going for the sand perch. Goodbye. Let's go, baby. This is the fish we were after. Not the perch, but the goby. This is a midnight black. Look at that. That is a midnight black, melanistic, full-blown goby right there. That is a that is a sick fish. I'm sorry, I don't care what you are. If you see this at the fish store, this is a at least $50 fish right here. All black, jet black goby. Are you kidding me? That is a sick fish right there. Let's be gentle to get him off the hook. This guy is a great addition, a great addition to the pond. Gotta get this hook out. There you go, look at that. Midnight 
black goby right there. He's going in. He's so going in. This is a 10 out of 10 fish for me. I don't know, what, what's your favorite fish so far down in the comments? Let me know. Blue Shrimp Grunt, Glass Minnows, or the Midnight, the Midnight Goby. I'm so happy with that fish. Ready? Go swim off, buddy. Let's go, let's go. Now I think we need one more species and then we're gonna put all these guys in the pond and that's gonna be our first adding to the pond until tonight when we pick up the camera and try to catch some fish at night. Now guys, there's a lot of different species here. I could spend all night, all day, catching different kinds of fish for the pond, but we do not want to, uh, you know, give up the space, give up the real estate that easy, okay? We're gonna add slowly to this pond, and the first add, obviously today, is some glass minnows and a couple other fish. Then we're gonna add a couple fish every video, like barracuda, needlefish, whatever. So we don't, I could easily catch a million right now, but then the, the, the space is gonna run out of the pond, so we gotta be very smart with what we're adding to the pond. Oh my god, I know where the midnight gobies live. I just got another midnight goby. This guy's spotted. This guy's spotted. This guy's a spotted. Are these, what, if anyone knows exactly what these are, please let me know in the comments because these might be, I don't know if a jawfish is something. This guy's more green and he's fat. Look at all that shrimp he's been eating. But look at the spots on his face right there. If you really pay attention to his face right there, he's got neon green spots on his face. The other one was jet black. So this might be a completely different fish, but still like, I mean, that is sick. That is sick. Look how fat he is from eating my shrimp. He, he ate my shrimp and this guy's actually gorgeous. Look at that. Green spots all over his head there. He's so going in the pond. This might be our last edition for daytime because the sun's going down and I want to catch some more fish at night when the lights are on. So we're going to get this guy in the bucket, get them in the pond, and we'll come back later tonight. Ready? Look at that guy. All right, buddy. Let's go. They all live in this one spot over there. Confirmed. Absolutely confirmed. I can spend all night catching them. Now we are going to be adding our fish to the pond. This is the first fish going in. I'm excited. I think we're going to go with the biggest one first, the yellow stripe grunt, and then we're going to do the whole school of glass minnows at the end, because that's awesome. And then hopefully we'll get a lot more glass minnows or maybe some baby pilcher tonight when, uh, when the sun goes down and those fish come out. Here is our yellow stripe grunt. Let's get him in the pond. What are we going to name him? First guy going in needs an epic name. There he goes, oh my God, he just started right off. Right into the cave, right into the cave, right into the cave. Okay, that's perfect, that's exactly what we want. First fish is in, he's gonna take a while to get used to this, but he's in the cave. Let's get our two gobies in. These guys are sick. Look at that, let's get these guys in. Go on guys, go, go, go find a rock. Let's go, let's go, they love it. They're not even scared, they love it. They absolutely love it in here. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Let's go, that's awesome. Now we are gonna get the rest of the glass minnows in. And these guys are all just gonna swim out. And I think, I think we're gonna catch many more tonight. So I'm not worried. This is just our first school of them. Here goes our first school of glass minnows. We got at least, I think about 40. Let's go, let's go. There's our first school of glass minnows right there. So the glass minnows are schooled up. The gobies have found a nice rock underneath the mini cave, which you guys wanted me to keep. So I'm keeping the mini cave and the grunt is underneath the bigger rock structure. So our first fish are officially added to the pond. We can enjoy these guys and then come back out here tonight to hopefully catch some baby pilchard because those have been all over my lights. The final boss in this video is gonna be the baby pilchard. So let's wait until that sun goes down. All right guys, I'm back at night. And guess what? I came out by the lights and there's a fish that's a resident here. The resident snook, he's here every single night and we're gonna catch him one day. But let me show you guys him right here. See that big line right there? Hold on, I gotta focus. Why isn't it focusing? Hold on. Look at him, look at him. Look at that snook right there. Look at that big boy. He's here every single night, guys. Every single night, he's about to come back around. Look at him right there. What a fish, what a fish. But you can see all the other little fish right here that we're gonna net, but I just don't wanna scare this guy. I don't know, I think I might have to catch him. Should I try to catch him? Yeah, come on, dude. Look at that, <laughs> look at that fish. That is a perfect eater fish right there. I don't know if I would eat him because he's a, he's a homie. He's here every single night, guys. This fish is here every single night, clockwork. Every single night, clockwork. As soon as these lights kick on, he's here. Look at him, he's about, to, he's about to eat something. This guy is a beast, dude. Look at that freaking snook. I'm gonna really try to zoom in on him here. Look at that fish. That is a sick fish. And see that fish, that these little small fish? That's what he's eating. So when I talk about elephants eat peanuts and I, you know, the mystery box, the fish guy mystery box has smaller baits in it because the big fish love smaller baits. Look how he's postured right here. He is postured, he is postured right there to kill. He's postured to eat these little minnows, these little glass minnows. That's what he likes to eat on these lights. Oh, he just freaking crushed something, dude. Did you hear that? 
Dude, I felt that vibration in the dock. He just ate something and I felt that pop, that vibration throughout the entire dock. It makes me not want to throw my cast net because this guy's here. That was the coolest thing ever. I just watched a live snook eat, a wild snook eat a wild fish. This is Nat Geo shit right here. Look at all these minnows. There's literally thousands of glass minnows right here, guys. I don't know if you can see them in, in the camera. Thousands. That is so dope. I'm geeking out. I'm geeking out because this is the fish guy. This is, this is me as a fish guy right here. Geeking out over a snook on my light because he's here every night. It's absolutely sick. Look at all those so many on this light. Just, and we're going to try to net him. I just don't want to scare this guy. He's an absolute resident, so we got to name him too. So drop a comment about the resident snook. He, he needs to have a name. I'm thinking Fred, Fred the snook, Fred the resident snook. He just swam off. Good. Let, let him swim off. Let's go. We got to add some more fish to the pond though. So let me, let me net, let me net a couple fish over here on this other light. So we do not disturb Fred the snook. Now listen, all the fish, mostly all the fish, including the glass minnows, obviously Fred the snook, who's a resident here. They all like the far left light on the edge of the dock. They all like the light all the way at the end over here. So come look, we get our net here all the way at the end of the dock. This is where most of the fish hang out. Glass minnows, any bait fish, they all hang out here. And that's why Fred's here, obviously. As you can see, this is nature at its finest. Bait, the big or the small fish call the bigger fish right here. Perfect, perfect example is all those glass minnows on the light. So I don't want to throw my net on top of Fred. I, I personally, I don't know if, what you guys would do. You guys can tell me down in the comments. You can roast me down in the comments. I don't want to throw my net on top of Fred. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna throw anything on top of Fred, it's gonna be a bait and we're gonna catch him and eat him. So, but for right now, we're gonna leave Fred alone. The other two lights over here have way less bait, like way less fish. But there is a weird looking fish over here that I can try to cast net. But this is gonna be my only cast of the night because I don't wanna, I don't wanna disturb Fred. He's such a good guy. So I'm gonna do one cast on this light and then we'll see what we catch. It's nighttime, clearly. There might be. Is that another snook out there? The big giant catfish love the lights, the tarpons love the lights, and the snook love the lights. I just don't wanna disturb my only friend. I mean, come on. That's my, literally, he's a wild friend. I'm gonna throw one cast net really deep, see if we can get some more fish for the pond. Ready? One, two, hurry. Now I wonder if that disturbed Fred. It might have, even though Fred's a couple lights down. Oh my God, we crushed. We crushed. I don't know if you guys can see on that light. Look at all the fish. The lights bring the action. The lights bring the action. We gotta do more night videos. Let me know in the comments and by dropping a like on this video, if you guys would like to see more night videos because the fish are everywhere at night and they love it. So. Oh my God, there's so many glass minnows. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Close that was from crawling up my torso. Like, look at this. Look at this guy right here. That's a stud. That's a stud of a minnow that we would not have caught early, earlier. But instead we caught him tonight at the light because the light is like a chum bag. When you think of a snook light or any, any kind of light in the water at, at nighttime, it is literally like a chum bag. There is at least 50 more glass minnows for the pond right there. I don't know if you guys can see all these dudes. Do you see that? We got a bunch of much bigger fish. Earlier during the day, we caught a lot more small ones. These guys are a lot bigger. So just another uh, good addition for the pond, for the backyard pond. And we're gonna be adding these guys in tonight. I know the lighting isn't the best, but it was a great time. I love coming out here at night and uh, at least showing you guys. You guys, you guys don't get to see the, night, the, the lights at night enough. I should definitely do it more. I know it's gonna be hard to see, but there's already, all of our fish are doing great in here, swimming around and they're getting some more, uh, some more glass minnows in here. So let's let these guys in. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we just added about 30 to 50 more glass minnows to the collection. Let's go. The, the, the native pond is coming along nice. It's definitely got some work to do. Right now we got minnows, we got some gobies. We got a blue stripe grunt, many more to come. We need some SMs, Sergeant Majors. We need some uh, some more grunts. We need some, uh, maybe a parrot fish. That would be epic. Some eels, stingrays, whatever we can catch. We're gonna throw in here for the time being. Let's think of this as a giant live well. That's what this is, a big old live well. So there you guys have it today. Great day filming, great day catching. We added some fish to the pond and I will see you guys in part three three where I think we're going to get some invertebrates for this pod. We're going to go catch a bunch of crabs. So if you want to see that video, stay tuned, subscribe, notification bell on. Let's catch some crabs in the next video. See you then. Peace.